In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a unique card effect that opens like a book right in Figma. It's a smooth and engaging animation that can really make your UI stand out. Here is a quick preview of what we'll be building today. Pretty cool, right? This effect adds a sleek, interactive touch to your design, and I'm going to guide you through it step by step. We will start by designing the card, then we'll use Figma prototyping tools to create the book opening effect with smooth transition. So if you're ready, grab your Figma file and let's jump into the tutorial. And hey, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more creative design tutorials. Let's dive in. So to get started, we're going to select our frame tool, then um, draw this, then fill this with the white, um, with the white color, then get this centered. I'm going to give it a color reduce of um, 20. Then I'm going to add a back, uh, drop shadow. Then the drop shadow is going to be 50 and we set this to 10. What I'm going to do now is to duplicate this frame. Once you have it duplicated, you're going to open, increase it a bit to just be slightly bigger than the first one. So once you have it like this, so it looks as if it's just a book that is open, partly opened. So I'm going to copy this, the bigger one, delete it, then paste it inside the smaller one. Once it's inside the smaller one, get that centered. The smaller one is just kind of clipped, so I'm going to unclip it. Very important. So now we have this together. I'm just going to get everything right on the center. So now what I'm going to do is to get some of the contents that I already have pre-designed this one i'm going to move all of this to this very place so what i'm going to do now is to set this guy inside this 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 particular frame so copy this and select this frame and paste it inside be mindful of where you add the one you're adding into is the bigger one so to get this properly done i'm going to uh, set this properly get this in the center i'm just going to also slightly increase the bit then this one would also be increased and this also will be increased so we just have it like this then this guy under this one we put it right on the center so it looks like this so once i have this inside here i'm going to copy this and paste it inside here and i'll have it here then get this guy copy this the way i did this is i used minus is auto layout so i used minus to bring them to get a minus five much better copy this and select the inner frame and paste it there so once i have it here you can actually add auto layout now so if you want so I'm just going to literally add auto layout. So once I have auto layout, I'm just going to slightly open this up, make sure this is stationed in the center. And uh, once you have this sorted out, so I'm just going to slightly, um, just going to give it a uh, minus four or minus three. So minus three is better. So we have this at minus three and uh, we have 26 as the pattern in between. So once you have this, like this will set this guy. So I'm just going to select this and delete. Now we're going to rename this to probably cover. So once I have renamed that to cover and this one, I would also do the same thing. And uh, I'm just going to cover this cover. So what I'm going to do now is to duplicate this. Once I have the image duplicated, I'm now going to scale this up. So we'll have it like this, just the inner one, that's what you're actually expanding. So now it's time to say flip horizontally. So you're going to flip it. And this guy would now have to be zero and this guy would be zero. This also will be zero. So once you do that, make sure to remove all the layouts on here. I would go and bring this stuff that I pre-designed inside this frame copy this instead then select this frame and paste it inside so it happens that we might need to still increase this a bit then get this guy to be centered you can also decide to leave it leave the auto layout and uh, use um, 
absolute to hide those ones inside so i'm going to get rid of this then the next thing we need to do is to select this and bring it somewhere here i'm just going to copy it to make sure that it's inside the frame where we want it to be so it's just going to be here put that in the center then select this one i'm going to copy it and paste here then bring it right here so what i'm now going to do is to select this and delete so now we've just finished stationing everything properly remember we flipped this background now it's time to select here and uh, i'm going to go to prototype then head over to this and say on click not instant smart animate and i'm going to say gently now if i also click on this i'm going to link it back to this one the same thing smart animate gentle 800 so to test what we already did this is what we did and i'm going to fit this in so when you click on it you see it kind of flips out and when you click on it again it goes back to the initial stage and when you flip it goes back so that is how i actually made this in figma and i hope you also try it out and let me know whatever question you come up with please don't forget to hit the subscribe button this actually makes me want to do more i'm going to see you guys on my next video bye for now